Okay. Yeah, thank you for Nambi. Thank you to Nambi for recording. Nobody has permitted me, please. I can't go ahead before you have your permission. Please go on. <laughs> you guys, no, you guys have a choice. Sadly, I will not be I won't be here for too long. I wish it was yesterday we did the long session. But yeah, go on. Okay, cool. Um good evening again to everyone. Oh uh my center said my voice is low. I don't know. My volume is like on the highest. I'm using my earpiece. I don't know if I let me just take it out. So my center is it better? No, not better. From it's my not better. It's not better. From the IF, the earphones were made in the earphone is better. More it's better. Yeah, it's better. Okay. All right, great. Um, like I said, today is going to be really handsome, so let's get ready. Um, so for today's session, we're going to be looking at basic principles for telling stories with your data, right? Um, we look at the overview, look at what it means, like probably a definition kind of statement, and then we'll get on to see different ways we can tell our stories with data. So I'm going to start with this. Um, what's data storytelling? So I'm going to just read what is here. Um, this is a very, very concise definition of what data storytelling is, but it's actually encapsulated a lot of terminologies that we'll be talking about here. Um, this technology is uh, highlighted in, um, it's called, in white fonts. So um, data storytelling is the practice of using data visualization, narrative techniques to communicate insights, findings, and trends in a way that resonates with an audience and help them understand the significance of the data. So um, I highlighted data visualizations, narratives, insight finding trends, audience, and significance. So we're going to be taking each and every one of them bit by bit so that we can understand what it is. I know there are actually big words that grammar, um, grammatic terminologies that we use, but um, we're going to break it down so that we can understand it in the very, very simplest format, right? Um, so the first one is data visualization. Data visualization, what is data visualization? What comes to our mind when we see data visualization? So somebody should help me out. Um, Damola, what comes to your mind when we see data visualization? Hi, Damola. Hi. Hi. Uh, what comes to mind when when you mention the data visualization? For me, I would say chat. Okay. And, chat. And visibility. Yes, yeah, something I can see. Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay, thank you. In that's the simplest way. So when we say data visualization, the next thing that comes to your mind should be graphs, charts, or information that can help you, or anything that can help you visualize your data. So those are data visualization. I've spoken about it in the past. We have different types. We have line charts, pie charts, um, funnel charts, area charts, and all of that. So I'm not going to go into detail because this is something we've done in the past, right? You can refer back to your materials um, in the classroom. So um, the next thing here is narrative. So what do we mean by narrative? Of what comes to your mind? What's the next thing that comes to your mind when you say narrative? So um, I'm going to call on Mesendo. Okay, narrative is um, just kind of like an explanation. Mm -hmm. um, okay. Explanation to what um, you your findings. Okay, so you're going a bit far. So it's I I just actually needed that with explanation. So narrative is what explanation, right? Me communicating to somebody, explaining 
things, right? So um, there are different ways we can explain or we can, yeah, we can explain data, right? And we're going to look at it in subsequent slides. So the next thing is insights. Um, so I'm going to call the guy, Pendo me. <laughs> Sorry, you're the first person on my list. Huh? That's I'm always calling you. You're the first guy I'm trying. I see. Uh, so insight is um, deductions from your realization, right? Like what, what sort of like summaries you can get. So insight. Okay, so forgive me. My camera is turned off. Oh, I'm so sorry. Um, let me just put it on so that you can see my face. So um, insight is what, sorry, I didn't get that. I said insight is uh, sort of like deductions, right? Uh, I'm not okay. sure. If, yeah, it's a big drama. Okay, so what, what does your, um, uh, what can you tell from the visualization? What, so what exactly? What, can I tell? what are you trying to tell me? What information are you giving to me, right? Yes. So, good. So that's insights. So I would say let's just group insights, findings, uh, findings. and trends in, in one group. So they're actually all telling us the same thing, right? What can I see from my data, right? And um, the next thing is audience. So audience, audience, audience. Esther, do you want to help us with what audience means? When, what comes to your mind or the next thing that comes to your mind when you hear audience yeah they are the people yes great that's a very good description audience is a person right a person that you can talk if just a person a human being then um significant significance of the data um who would help us with this joshua do you want to help us Okay, just talking about the importance. Good. So um, with all this explanation we just had, we said um, data storytelling should have a data visualization, a narrative, findings, right? And audience as well. So in my own words, I'll say you telling your story with data is you using data visualization or like charts, graphs, in combination with narrative, like explanation, so that you can using this chart and graph and your explanation. So you might, your explanation can be like you speaking, right, or written. You, you combining those two things, you'll be able to tell an audience or a person what you can see from the data. It can be findings, it can be trends, and any other thing, but what you can see from the data and so that they'll be able to understand it the way you understand it. So if I'm communicating to you and I just say something, right? Let's, let's say, for example, let me just give for example. I say, um, we had a total of 4 million in sales. I have communicated, right? You understand? So no matter anything, whatever we are trying to represent it, I've still communicated. Um, but communication is not enough, or you giving that information is not enough. You have to convey insight. So telling your audience what you're saying so that um, they can make decisions. Okay, I, maybe I even forgot to add it here. A significance of data is actually maybe at the, the end point of any data story exercise is to enable your audience make that decision based on the story you've told. So I don't know if I've been able to break down the meat. So data storytelling is not something that is very high up here, if you ask me. Um, the way people put it out there, maybe on LinkedIn or anywhere that you've come across it then, it's very simple. It's just you using graphs and charts, combining with your narratives to communicate these findings, this information that can enable your audience make informed decisions from your data. So that's the summary of um, data storytelling. Do we have any questions? Can I go on? Or do you have any addition? Because we are now big boys and girls. We've interacted with data a lot. So, um, yeah, I want to add. Okay. So, in telling your data, why visualization is very important is because the, the once people 
people see visuals, it's the information I try to pass tends to stick more in their head, right? Mm -hmm. and, and text. So visuals are they're very important, and that is why you, you need to learn how to use visuals and not just any kind of visuals, but the right one to okay. communicate a particular set of data. Yeah. All right. Thank you, Namri. So um, also, um, seeing our numbers like raw might not give us so much insight. So that's why data visualization is a thing. You have to put all this information in graphs to present it in a way that can be easily communicated and your audience can make decisions from it. So I'm going to go to the next thing and we have um, ways we can communicate data or data can communicate can be communicated so we have um we have different risks right i just grouped them into these three and we can achieve all of them in power bi so i'm going to look at examples and the first one on my list is infographics so infographics combines visual text icons together to pre pre um, present complex data in a very very appealing way and very digestible way. So what they just do is to summarize the key points and insights. So that's what infographics means. So I'm going to show us like an example of what an infographic should look like and in case we don't know what it is. I uh, just hope this takes me to the next thing. Can you, you can see my screen. I'm sharing a tab. Okay. No, I can see the tab. You can the one see. That is opening. Yes, I can see it. The one that is opening, right? Yes. Microsoft okay. uh, Fabric. Okay, great. So um, I'm going to see in a minute what an infographic look like. So this was designed in Power BI, right? Let's give it a minute. So it's loaded. So we have an infographic that tells us um, or gives us information about how COVID-19 has affected students and schools, right? You can see on this graph, um, it's interactive because it's Power BI. Um, I don't know why it's not making my network. But at the same time, this person is communicating to his or her audiences, that's anybody that consumes this report, um, how COVID-19 has affected school culture. You can see from here, like they combine a lot of texts and visual to communicate this data and this is like it might not be i don't know or this is the closest i could find right but it's actually kind of re um, represents what an infographic should look like maybe on your own spare time you can google and search out or look at other infographic images and you can prepare it in different ways you can use um, graphical apps like canva microsoft powerpoint and you can also do it in Power BI. So since we are doing like um, the tool that we taught for this course is Power BI, and I'm representing this in Power BI, right? Um, you can see a pie chart communicating um, the way um, it's it's just breaking down this information by income class, and you can see it's actually readable. You can follow the story. So this is the income the income class that affected by COVID nineteen. Right then, since the beginning of 2020 till September, I don't know what year, so it might be 2021. Uh, this number of this number was primary, this number, so it's just you reading through, and when you read through, you are understanding, and the person is communicating this insight, right? So, um, this is the closest to an infographic. Um, do we get it? So, the next one is a report. What is a report? A reporting is a, com is a combination of data visualization with the sole aim of providing in-depth data analysis, allowing the user to explore the aspect of the data and uncovering meaningful insights. So um, I know we've talked about reports and dashboards earlier in the course. I'm bringing it here again because this is one of the ways we can communicate or we can get yeah, data can be communicated bits in Power BI or in even other ways, but we can definitely in Power BI because this is what we use for the course. And um, when we say reports, the next thing that should come to our mind is you trying to dice and slice your data just to give like an in-depth analysis of 
that data, right? And um, to allow your user to explore different aspects of the project or the data. So let's say, for example, I want to communicate. I want to, I, I have like an assignment from work and maybe my manager says, okay, um, design a dashboard, not dashboard, sorry, a report for these um, sales, let's say monthly sales. I want to see sales by product. I want to see sales by year. I want to see sales by um, customer segments, right? So all these things is still centered around sales, right? It's centered around sales, but now I'm building this report to actually give it a detailed analysis of how sales have been over months. Um, so that's what should come to mind when um, a report is being mentioned. So going over to dashboards, I'm going to show us an example. We'll look at it later on, but let me just discuss what dashboard is. Dashboard is also a combination of data visualization. Now, the difference is uh, why reports give us like a very in-depth data analysis of the data, right? Dashboard gives, gives us like a top level summary. So um, that's what is very useful when your user wants to make like a quick decision and more for monitoring your KPIs. Uh, we know what KPIs means, right? That's key performance indicator. And let me just reiterate what KPI means. So KPIs are those metrics that a company can set to actually help them measure to actually help them measure if the business is doing well or not. So it's just me measuring my performance. Right, based on what I've said, so let me track if my business is doing good or is doing great. So um, we'll look at an example of what a report looks like, and we'll look at an example of what a dashboard looks like. So let's start a report. I'm sorry. So let's why it's loading. I'm going to click on dashboard as well. So, so this is my report. Still looking. Okay. So can we see my screen? I don't know if it's so tiny. Um, that's why I'm actually asking if you can see my screen. Okay, nobody said anything. I don't know. I'm not yeah, sure. Yeah, they are actually giving you thumbs up so they can see it. Like it's legible, right? Yeah, from my That's end. Good. It's not legible. Though. You can just zoom in your screen. Like, I mean, they are, I'm talking about the, uh, the people on the call. They can zoom in their screen to see it. Okay, let me try to zoom it from here as well. Okay, it's so too much. Uh, yeah, this is fine. Uh, let me make it like 100, 150, 140, 130, 120. Okay, you can scroll, just scroll, yeah. This is fine. So um, this is a typical report, right? So if you look at um, what we have here, we have gender equality. So this person is trying to, or this person that designed this report, He's trying to like analyze data on gender equality, right? So if the person asks the question, he answered it, asks the question, answered it, and um, all of that stuff, right? So um, this chart is actually showing us gender equality by country, right? Um, by country, not by country, sorry, by regions, maybe continents, of Saharan, Africa, Eastern Asia, and all of that. Thing. And it also gave us the the PBL index by country. So this is actually like an overview and it's breaking down into this table. So um, the person went ahead and first of all, let's, let me just explain. The person started by explaining what this indicator means, right? So he said understanding the indicator. And now the person went ahead and said, this is how gender equality has been in the world in 2020 based on continent. And this is what actually, or these are the top things, or based based on the indicators, right? These are the top eight 
Or let's say, let's say that indicator that actually contributes more to gender equality or something. Then it now says, okay, this is how we are. These are the top eight. Then this is how much I've been able to do in the last 50 years, right? So it's following a story. But um, what um, or the overview, the summary of all this is that this person now just focused on gender equality and did the analysis of gender equality just on this speech. So um, if it's a multi-page report now, maybe the person can um, break it down by, okay, gender equality overview, maybe now do a country analysis or do any other kind of analysis based on the data the person has, right? Um, I don't know if this is clear, but the take home for or what should be the take home for you here is that there is a central topic, gender equality, and the person did an analysis of gender equality using graphs and charts. And this is a report. So I can actually make this as a PDF, send it to someone, and the person understands, right? Or send you my Power BI, or oh, depending on how you want to share it. I can even publish this as a research just screenshot and so I write on it and you're fine. Um do we have any question before I go to dashboard? Sorry. Okay. All right. No question, right? So we'll go to an example of what a dashboard looks like. But before I go to that, what did I say about a dashboard? Like, what kind of information can we get from a dashboard? So let's go back to this slide. Um, dashboard is, like I said, it is still a combination of visualization, but now it's giving us top level summary. And it's easy to like look at at a glance, oh, I'm, I'm able to see everything from my dashboard. I don't need to like slice and dice to get, or even if I'm saying slice and I dice, it might not be so much. My first glance at the dashboard should be able to tell me as much information as I want to by just looking at it, even without slicing and dicing. So that's what top level summary and data summit can do in your life as data analyst. <coughs> and um, this is a typical example of what a dashboard look like. Or, yeah, a dashboard, right? So if you look at this, the first glance, what can you see? Like, I've seen a lot of things here. Like, I can, I don't know, who wants to help out? Um, I don't want to put anybody on the spot. Vincent, yeah, our professor. Can you unmute yourself? And let me, can you just say, this is, you, 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 let's say, for example, you stumble on this somewhere, stuff in the internet, and you just saw this dashboard, and it's telling you, oh, this is cancer analytics dashboard, and um, it's telling us total incidence and mortality. So what can you see, like, looking at a glance? Okay. So what information off, you're grabbing? Yeah. First of all, I see um, where this is happening. You would mm -hmm. see more on the map. Exactly. Right. Uh, I see people who are mostly affected. Exactly. By using the heat map. The other thing is um I can see the categories more male and female. Mm -hmm. I can see the demographics as well. Mm -hmm. The incidents are happening, which people are mostly affected, and also the number of children affected as well. Exactly. And I can't even see the total um, population affected. The what? The population, the total population. Okay. Yeah, great. So that's very, very apt. Um, looking at it, you can see the person that designed this dashboard did not write a lot of things. It just gave me a header right, so that I know which, what is what and what information is being presented. And I just put all the information in the chat. Um, this chat actually looking at it, um, I can say, oh, this country has like a very high incidence. This country has a very high incidence. Looking at the, um, what's it called? Um, the key, I don't know what to call this one. Let's just say the key, right? The key to the map. So you can say, oh, looking at it, this particular country has even drawn my attention. Like what country is this? I want to find out. And you can see, okay, this is United States. So it's not a country, it's, it's United States. 
So we say, oh, uh, United States actually, it's not United States, California in United States actually has like the highest incidence. Oh, what's going on in that state? So you want to drill down the data, right? Or you want to ask questions about it, or you want to make your own research. So um, for the list, oh, I don't know, but you can see we have, um, in terms of cancer, right? Um, at least the, all the states in the country, they actually, the incidents are actually around this number, right? Around this number. So you can say, in your mind, you can calculate the incidence rate of what's the incidence rate per 100,000 or per whatever. The person should have actually represented, represented the year for easy, but it's still at least giving you an overview of how cancer is spread across the country. And in our way, I say, okay, this is what it looks like. This is the true picture of cancer. So let's look at it by population. Let's look at it by age group. Let's look at it by children. And I I don't need to go to any hospital in the United States to even get this information. Like I've gotten every for all the states, right? And I can decide to click on one state, right? And I get information for that particular state you get. So it's very easy. Do you understand? Do you grab it? Please, I need you guys to say something. Is it clear what a dashboard and a report is? Vincent, are we good? Yes, yes, I know. Damola, I've not seen Damola's reaction. MJ. Um, okay. okay, everybody is fine. So, Hello. Uh, I thank you guys. Thank you. This let you say something. Okay, sorry, please said I I didn't hear you. Yeah, I'm saying from the dashboard there there was something. I don't know if it wasn't moving or my eyes. Okay, so what should I go back? The to demography, it? yes, yes, please. Okay, so so you see the male and female. Mm -hmm. Is it for a particular state? No, this is for everything, male and female. So male and female in the United States, based on the person's data, right? Okay, so, so why I is the total population different? Okay, okay. Yeah, okay, it's, it's not summing up, right, is it? No. Yeah. Okay, I, that's the person's, um, I don't know, I'm, I didn't design that. But definitely, there's something I would have checked. But uh, maybe they had some missing data or something that you could not explain. Maybe, uh, one thing you should have even told your audience, oh, my data has some mutation. So it's just you complete all of these things to your audience, right? You might not be there to do that, but your dashboard can do that for you. I speak that for you. Um, somebody's hand is raised. Please go ahead. Okay. Um. So I don't know if. Um, I missed this part in, in, during the, the lessons, but mm -hmm. I don't know, this image, you, you know, when you designed your dashboard to you, mm -hmm. you um, created some images. Mm -hmm. So I also tried um, doing that, repl uh, replicating that. Is it that you download it on your own or there is a place in on Power BI that we have these images stored? Okay. So for now, you have to have the image in your local PC to upload it. But there's that visualization that accepts probably the image link. You just need the link of the image. Maybe if it's on the internet, you can get the link and you insert it there and it gives you the picture. I'm not all visualization supports that. I think table matrix do that, so I don't know. I think that's the tool I know for now. But the rest, you just need to download and insert where you want it to be, right? No, I will get to that part, but um, I'm just trying to explain what it does, the difference between a dashboard and a report. So um, let's go back to the report. You can see, oh, we have a lot of write-ups. The person is trying to explain for dashboards, it's just you visualizing your data. Um, you can do some explanations on your dashboard. I'm not saying you can't, but um, it should be really light on like what a report should be. Do you get? Because you're just trying to give us a very high level summary data for a dashboard. So um, I'm going to the, do we have any questions before I go before we go to the next thing to discuss? Are we good? 
Okay, I guess everyone is good. So, I said, I hope I was able to answer your question as well. Okay, so great. We are going to actually look at um, different real life scenarios, right? And we'll be able to spot which is the reports or the dashboard based on the explanation I just gave. So um, I'm going to play like a little game. The little game is called this or that, right? Um, Tim Ruby and Tim Diamond, please, are we here? Hope you've not forgotten your um, what is it called? We did, we did, we full ground. Okay, so this game is between Tim Ruby and Tim Diamond. Um, let me stop sharing my screen. I'm, I want to share my entire screen because it's going to be real war in this class. Um, and we are really prepared for you guys, right? So Tim Ruby and Tim Diamond. So we are going to play, and uh, from now to the end of the class, we are going to be doing little, little games. I'll explain some concepts and I'm going to solidify what we understand from those concepts of games. So I'm going to say the rules. And so, um, anybody, Tim Ruby, you work together, Tim Diamond work together. Just one person should answer from your team. So you, you vote who should answer, and the person can raise his hand, and you'll be given audience. Amanda, Amanda, is our, <laughs> Amanda, we send you our. Amanda is under the weather. Yeah, you're representing this. So for oh, this. I'm not the weather, but I'm so playing this game. Ah, <laughs> nice one, nice one, nice one. No, Let's go. So, <laughs> each question has each question, each correct question. Why did they say you get correctly is 10 marks, right? And if, uh, let's say, for example, Tim Ruby feels the question, Tim Diamond can opt in to answer, right? And when you answer it correctly, you get the full mark that Tim Ruby is supposed to get. But if you don't answer it correctly, no mark for you. So you must answer it correctly. And um, so, how many chance? How many chance do they have to answer, to answer the answer question? Is it like once or twice? They give you answer once mm -hmm. or twice or thrice. Okay, let's give each team two chances so you have two chances, two chances right. to answer Better. right at the second if you don't get the question in your second attempt it will be for the mm. next thing at the point yeah. so the next thing was get it correctly once I don't want to have the next thing is yet. once was you must get like it in the bonus once. yes and once you get it correctly you're getting the full mark for that question but if you don't get it correctly no mark for you for the bonus um question so are we on the same page okay so let's go back to uh uh game so we're going to start with tim ruby tim ruby is the first analyst and i'm going to sorry it's going to come like um you you don't get to choose your question so the way it is on this slide is the way you would answer right so um so the first one is this so Tim Ruby, are you guys ready? Okay. If you're ready, just say yeah. Because I'm not yeah, yeah. okay. So this this is your scenario, right? So imagine um the sales team in your in the, the organization you work with wants to analyze monthly sales data to show details about sales trends, product performance region distribution and customer segments so that they can identify the top selling product target growth area and so that they can identify the um, top selling product target growth area and make informed decision on sales strategy which is the best for this scenario dashboard or reports dashboard dashboard Please let's discuss this thing. Yeah, your <laughs> your answer. So you have all much time. That's so much time. Wait, wait. Um, Mandy, wait, tell wait, me. Excuse me. Sorry, excuse me. Excuse me before we go. Okay, there are just two options here. WhatsApp. Sorry, before we go. Sorry, before we go. There are just two options here. So it's just one chance. 
Exactly. You can actually give. Oh, no, it's no chances. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, but we're not answered, though. We're not answered. Hey, let's go WhatsApp. We've not answered. No WhatsApp. Let's do it here. No, I should do it here. So, uh, okay. I don't know. Yeah, just do it here. All right. Um. So, Mandy, fellow meeting, Ruby. First and foremost, what is a report? A report. Report needs to carry um, details and um, detailed explanation about it, and Actually, it can be yeah, the is a yes, and then it can visualize it. Why because dashboard it is a detail, summary? Yeah. Yes, so it says these to show they are asked to analyze monthly sales to show details. So me, I will go for a report to how far. <laughs> No, actually, is that your final answer? Yes. Wait, now you tell us you raised a hand, Abby. Nobody raised hand. Okay, you guys like are talking already. So, um, yes. Who is so, what are we going with? Mandy, why, do you, Mandy, why Mandy. do you think it's a dashboard, though? Mandy. Okay. Why do you think it's a dashboard? Because it's showing the details about the sales trends. <laughs> But if you if you look at the example that was given, right, that mm -hmm. cancer was she called, it, it did not have details. For example, one of the details that could have been on that dashboard, the cancer thing is in each um state in US, they could have shown the breakdown of male and female or the what she called or infant. But you see that that was on the right hand side of that of that dashboard. It just had the summary statistics. So, but I, I, I also see how you think because if you have all the monthly data sales, you can then have like slicers to go into showing some other things. But I still think a report is safer as the answer. That's why so I think. Two, two against one. I think two. We're not the only ones. There are other people. There are other people in the Joshua. I is Joshua not in our team. Lydia, uh, Lydia. 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 Ah, she's not a person. Like you don't let's not uh, don't let these diamond people think that they are the same, please. Let's not do it. <laughs> nah, I deal with you. I deal with you. So what what do you think it is? Do you, do you think it's a do you think it's a dashboard or a, a report? I'm calling for a report. Lydia, is Lydia is in our team too now? You guys are talking, you know, let me go, let's go with reports. See, I let me explain that report again for us so that we we'll understand. She said a report <laughs> bar, eh, is a combination okay. of data visualization with the sole purpose of providing in-depth data analysis, allowing users to explore various aspects of the data and uncover yeah. meaningful insights. Yeah, yeah. I agree. And there are different aspects because now we can see um, growth areas, um, distribution, uh, performance, product performance. So, yes, yes, yes. So, okay, report. So, report. so, 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 yeah, so man, man, no, man, 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 man. no, man, no, man, no, man, no, Okay, I'm coming. Oh, yes, yeah, thank you. Okay, so I guys, yes, I've so, finalized. Yes, I've finalized yes. report. 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 Let's go for report. If you feel that, sure report. report. Yes, report. Yes, yeah, sure. Report. And that's your final answer. Final yes. answer, thank you. Okay, so the thing is that um, if you get it correctly or you get it wrongly, um i can't even give out a bonus right now because it's just the option no wait i'm coming let me suggest something before you go on <laughs> so they've said report right mm -hmm. let's see for the opinion of team diamond before you even say if they are right or wrong so okay yes, yes if team diamond gets it right then they'll get the mark but if the advance got that if the, the answer is correct they get the mark so we are not saying whether it's right or wrong now so Tim Diamond, what do you think? Tim Diamond, you guys, please, my team, you guys should not fall my hand. Tim Diamond. The dashboard is not report, I think. <laughs> our coach, our coach, no day here. That, that's, that's, <laughs> that's inducing, you know. Our coach is not here. Maria is not here. She's, she's 
Okay, so Team Diamond, we are waiting. Please, I'm, me, I'm from Team Diamond. I'm saying it's a dashboard. It's not a it's a dashboard. And it's that's the final answer. I mean, we are not in Team Diamond. So everybody needs to agree. So, Team Diamond, you guys should speak. No, uh, um, I don't want to link this. This is dashboard. It's, it's not a report. It's not a report. Okay. Is that your final answer? Diamond? Yes. Is that our final answer? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I did get that, but I don't know if it's, you're confirming that. Hello, uh, Mesendo. I know you're in Diamond. Mesendo is not in Diamond. No, uh, you won't steal our, you won't steal our stamina. <laughs> Amanda, Wait, Amanda. Amanda. <laughs> Amanda is in our, uh-uh. -ah. He said, I don't know you're in Diamond. Okay, Joshua. Um, I, is Joshua is in Diamond. I don't even know my team is in the game. No, but I, know, I think Boke is in Diamond. How about Please, MG? MG, MG what, yes. What team? MG, Esther, Damola. Please, you guys should speak up. Please, though, I, I don't want to. Okay. I think, okay, can you speak? If you can speak, you guys can also put it in the chat so that um, we have your contribute and they are aligned on what they want. So is anything going on in the chat? Let me, let me monitor the chat. Yeah, I'm on the chat. Nothing yet. So you guys have Biavo. 10 seconds. Uh, on behalf of uh, in Diamond, right? Yes. Sorry. Well, well, uh, we'll follow, let's follow this thing. Well, the fact that this part where it is saying show details, uh, well, let's we'll follow Vincent said they are choosing diamond, right? Okay, he's asking his team members. Yes, they are choosing yes. dashboard. There is one yes, that's dashboard. That's is that's 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 diamond. Yeah. <laughs> These ones we are trying to show KPIs. Okay. And usually KPIs, the best thing to do is actually a dashboard, not a report. Because okay. with a the KPIs, we, I mean, we would like to use probably a, a, an interactive dashboard mm -hmm. coupled with some graphs and all of that. So, mm -hmm. and, and, and using a report, a report kind of gives a, I'll say, in depth analysis, mm -hmm. right? And it's not really suited for this. Like, I mean, someone will choose a report, but the best option will be a, a dashboard because to show okay. the various details. Right, mm -hmm. including like performance, product performance, regional distribution. They should see what is going on at once because they'll be comparing everything together. Okay. Yeah. At least my defense. That is why I'm saying we should choose that. Thank you for that explanation. So great. So the final answer is dashboard for Tim Diamond. Right. Okay. Wait, I've not announced the re results. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, time to review the final answer. Um, the correct answer for this case scenario is, is reports. So Tim Ruby got it. That's <laughs> really <laughs> You cannot give um, um, a dashboard to the sales team. We need a report to break down the analysis. Okay, so oh, the movie so has done. 10. Right? Let's go to the next scenario. Um, do we still need me to explain why is a report? Yes. Okay. So, um, Vincent. I like the way you broke it down, right? But right now we are not showing the only KPI we are even showing here is sales, and sales is not a KPI. Sales might be how like um let me no, the KPIs here are the product performance, the distribution. The... So how can you track product performance from a data? How do you think I don't know, I don't know how they did it, but they I mean they did it. <laughs> they are trying to, okay. to, to that's what I'm saying. It. I'm trying to, I'm, I want to make you think about it. So you can track a product performance by maybe how much 
of that product is being sold, right? Um, the quantity is it sold? Is it high or that? What's the volume of sales or how much product? Or I think that's one way. Region distribution, uh, which region is performing highest or whatever, right? But um, if you look at this scenario, we want to get the sales data and show all these details. So definitely, you're selling a product, right? You're selling a product. You're selling the product to customers, and you're selling it in different places. So I want to know how all this information comes together to actually tell me if I'm progressing in my sales or not. And if I want to like do it in details, like I want to break it down in details, I want to say, okay, this is where we are selling higher. These are the top three products. These are the places we are selling higher and whatever. A report is more suited for this case than the dashboard. That's what I just gave you a summary. Um, how do I put it? A summary of, oh, this is the total sales, right? And if you want to see your information by, um, what is it called? Sorry, dashboard is never, it's not doing it for me, really. Report is more, is more suitable because of the details you want to show. And if you look at this scenario again, we are just focusing on one thing, that's sales. Um, there's no other thing we are focusing on. There's a central thing here, or like dashboard that we can do different things. Right, to get a like an overall overview of the business, but sales is just focused on um, this scenario, is just focused on only sales. So, I want to just see all the information I can see on sales, not on so is the sales by product or sales by um region distribution or sales by customer. Right, I don't know if that's clear. So, maybe whenever you want to think about it again, just think about okay, am I focusing on one thing? Or like different things that should even help you i'm giving you expo but let's go to the next one are we cool team diamond okay please i need response yes or no okay so this is the next thing mm, please can you guys still hear me yes Okay. So Tim Diamond, are we good on that explanation or we are still contexting is a report or is a dashboard? Okay. I don't know. I didn't get any response. I'll just assume that we are good and let's move to the next one. So this question is for you, Tim Diamond. Um, the scenario is this. The CEO of a of the organization you want you work with wants to monitor the company's overall performance. She wants to be able to quickly assess the business health by looking or sorry, this um, by examining key metrics such as revenue, profit margin, customer satisfaction score. So make strategic decisions based on real-time insights so what is best suited for this scenario a report or a dashboard same diamond members of the diamond are you still on this call Yes, we are, we are, we are, we are, we are having a meeting. Okay, you guys are having a meeting. Oh, I'm so sorry. You don't want to... No, 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 actually. But we are thinking, we are reading and trying to digest the question. Okay. I, I think from my end, on behalf of uh, our team, I think I will, I will go with dashboard. Because, uh, yes. Are you guys agreeing? Yes. Based on the beginning, I think that was even the right answer for this. Okay. Tim Ruby, do you agree with them or is it like <laughs> No, we agree with them. Dashboard yeah. because we are monitoring key performance of um, 
we have we have a um, specific goal yeah. so for, okay. for 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 us dashboard is it all right right so yeah. <laughs> okay so but this is the demo's question anyways so um the correct answer is dashboard yeah that's for tim damon actually you have your 10 10 points for your question so it's the 50 50 now let's see who will win at the end of the day so the next scenario is for team ruby team ruby are you guys ready let's go let's go dear good i like tim ruby's energy so tim ruby the scenario, the scenario is this the marketing team wants to track the performance of ongoing marketing campaigns they want to be able to know firsthand how their efforts translate to campaign rate engagement rates lead conversation and social media buzz so they can identify which campaigns are driving the most impact and adjust their strategies accordingly, which is best suited for this report. No, is it please, please use our question to have sense. <laughs> no, no question, they, they okay. had us. <laughs> Tell me, uh, Mandy. Yeah, I'm thinking From dashboard. I'm, I'm thinking this is hey CJ. I'm thinking this is um a dashboard. Dashboard, me too. I, 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 agree, I agree with you. I agree with you guys because because um if if they have like a dashboard that gives them like quick access, right? Um, so they know. So like because it says because it says uh where they can the, the most impact. And where they can adjust their strategy so it, it feels more like a summary right give us a summary so that we know exactly the pain point and we can do something about so they don't want story that's what it feels like so maybe a dashboard is good here um, yeah dashboard actually final answer dashboard uh, uh, let, let me, yes let okay. me let my voice here please uh mr Bellamy. Hello. Yeah, go on. Yeah, go on. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For me, uh, I think uh, this could be a report. Reason being that uh, it's talking about marketing campaign, which is just one thing, and they they want to be able to know how their efforts can, you know, translate to um, campaign reach. They want to know how many, which people are we going to reach out to, the rate at which. So it's all this is just talking about one thing, and the report can give us a better insight on this. Mm. Let's look at it because we talk about dashboard. When we talk about dashboard, we have to think about it again. She has said it previously. Dashboard brings in so many things, and here I think you are just focusing on one thing, which is marketing. And they want I, to know. Yeah. But, so I don't, but Joshua, you know that when they talk about campaigns, it means it's not just one campaign. There are actually going to be a lot of campaigns you have to analyze. You'll be looking at comparing. But yeah, but, but yeah, you, analyzing other people's campaign or your company's campaign. The company's campaign. They'll have so a it's still, it's still, So yeah, it's true. I, I, so yes, it did. I, I, I'm, I'm inclined to switch in my answer because of what you just said and then instead so you see the other part it says they want to be able to know first and how their efforts translate every of those other statements there right is what they will be deriving from the marketing campaign the report on the marketing yeah. campaign so yeah so like if you take that into consideration i guess um I guess a report is probably that I'm also I'm changing my hand and I'm trying to go. Let me okay. 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 I still think Let's this is a on. dashboard. Okay. Yes, because we're trying to like these people are going to work on this thing, but the marketing team is just interested in getting their their insights. Like you don't want stress. 
Are you reading that from the, the fact that they don't want to say, is that from the question? Like, the t- <laughs> sorry, it's making me laugh. Why do you say they don't want stress, Mandy? Um, uh, sorry, um, okay, okay. Nasendo, is that from the question? Yes, you read the first sentence, right? Please, if they don't want stress, they won't have to ask. I, I'm going. I'm going with. I'm going with report. Yeah. I've said. I'm fine. Yes, what kind of report? Please. But what, whatever we, we choose, right? right? Yeah. 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 I mean, we learn. Yeah. 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 Why, why you can't confuse this guy now? I'm also going to that show too. I'm, I'm confusing him. Sorry. No, no, he's not confusing me. Actually, he said something that was right. Why are you confusing him? So please, what are you guys sending for? It's less, it's on but I, uh, Wait, who else is on our team? We can have a tiebreaker. Who wants to be the tiebreaker? Wait, now we. You need guys have to go for one answer. Joshua, should we allow ladies first? <laughs> or should we um, stick with. Sorry, my network is breaking. I didn't, Sometimes I didn't know what would. I'll die now, die. I said, should we allow you? Let's go dash both ways. That's too much. That's if we fail, we fail, but that's too much. No, we are going to fail. No, we're not All going right. to fail, but I probably believe this is a dashboard. I, I, I Why do you say so, Messenger? One thing, very, very important fact is the key performance, like, we want to track their performance like oh my goodness i would like explain this do you know that the social media board the engagement rate can be represented and can be organized in a craft using a dashboard so those that have slicers so if uh, at the time there's an increase in, in the social media boards if they, the marketing and uh, uh, marketing team will know Okay, please. You have 10 seconds to decide. That's what I said. Go ahead and answer. <laughs> okay, <laughs> Clara, we go so, with that. Okay, I'm a Okay, dashboard. Okay, dashboard. Dashboard. Yes, I now answer dashboard. Team Diamond, do you have any opposition? Do you agree? Do you disagree? I damn what people that like the impact and discussion. Please, 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 what are you for saying? <laughs> do we agree with dashboard yes. or what for this? What do we agree with? Dashboard. Dashboard. Final answer dashboard. Yes. Okay, good. So the final answer or the correct answer to this case scenario is. I said, no, please, your heart should not be in your chest. It's, <laughs> it's actually dashboard. Okay, so I'm, <laughs> I'm going to explain it. Please don't, um, I, I think Joshua is getting it. Um, you're confusing it. So uh, marketing campaigns, right, is something. But now they're tracking campaign reach. They're tracking engagement rates. They're tracking lead conversations. They're tracking media posts, social media posts. So all this one, two, three, four, the actually KPIs that are under marketing. So if you remember from the previous example with um, reports, right? It's just sales. There's no other KPI. I or can you think about any other KPI in that example that I, that was listed earlier? So they're just focused on sales sales, probably total sales, right? And they're breaking it down, giving details about everything going on for sales. But now for this case scenario, it's marketing. Marketing is what they're um, going to, they're looking at. But now marketing in terms of what? Campaign reach, engagement rates, leads, conversation. So I can't um, say I'm just focusing on only marketing. Marketing is broad, right? Marketing is broad, but 
sales is focused on one particular thing. Marketing is good. I can, if I just say I'm focusing on campaign reach for the campaign or how far the campaign has gone or engagement rates. So you might want to do a report for it. But now I'm tracking different KPIs and most times, sometimes you might get the data in different places. It might not even be in one place. So it's most, that's what is most suited for this case scenario than a report. And that's thing I would also say a dashboard is because the team want to be able to get first-hand information. So if I'm doing like details, they, like Mercedes said, they don't want to stress that. So they just want to see if their um, campaign is doing great or not by just looking at it. Oh, I come to my dad but first thing in the morning. Uh, this campaign has dropped. What happened? Do you get? I start them in my investigation. But reports might not give you that. Um, I not give you the opportunity to do that because we are we are putting a lot of details and it's my even you might not even get the true picture at one glance. You have to look at it very well before you get that information. So you get it. Is that um so that's on that point that why it should be a dashboard because um the, because of the kind of information I want to get from that um medium. So I, I the team wants to be able to get um just look at the dashboard or whatever I design and they should be able to see if my campaign or the campaigns that they're running is doing well or not. If it's not doing well, what can we do to improve it? Should we um, change our audience? Should we add more money or is the money too small? Or is it the graphics that we used to put out this um, advert online? Is it actually communicating well? So they'll start looking at all those things and make adjustments to see if it's or are we, or people are so it's it's just a lot of things, right? And for this case, a dashboard will be suited than a report. Is that clear? So Tim Ruby, you have what's it called? Your full mark. Messenger saves everybody. So I'm giving you a term. We made power. Women power. <laughs> so, Tim, Tim Diamond, are you guys ready? Try to zoom. The, please, is this actually bold? Let me zoom it in. Can you go to those three dots and, yeah, yeah. zoom ahead? Good. Fine. This is nice. I just hope it doesn't affect the other. Okay. No, it doesn't affect it. Okay. So, Tim Diamond, your question. And. Let's see what we have here. So the scenario for Tim Diamond is this. A hospital management is interested in examining patient outcome in their hospital. They want to be able to see at intervals their patient's demographics, medical procedure, ad readmission rates, and mortality statistics so that they can study treatment effectiveness and identify areas for improving patient care which is best for the senior reports or dashboard my people my people tim diamond are we here but why is in the option of using both <laughs> <laughs> It can uh, it depends on what you want, but the one should be more suitable, anyways. So, which is better? Maybe I should be putting time to the questions. Maybe you have like so many answers. Exactly, sixty seconds. <laughs> because you have to consider. Exactly, this is just something you should think. And um, okay, you have one one minute. Okay, guys, so what are you going with? The question says the uh, hospital management is interested in examining patient outcomes in the hospital. So they want to be able to see the intervals of their patients' demographics, one medical procedures, another one readmission rates, but then everything is actually tying into their patient outcomes. Right? So given this, I think a report is best suited for this scenario. Okay. Right. Please, oh, you are not saying anything. You have 30 seconds to decide, everybody. 
Yeah, because even even I agree with Vincent this report yeah. because from question, yes, report it's even said they want to be at intervals. So yeah. maybe they want to be seen weekly, they want to be seen it monthly. Okay. So I on I, I will go with Vincent. Okay, final answer reports. Team Ruby, do you disagree or do you agree? 30 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's report as well. I am person to see it should be reports, right? Let let me diplomatic. There's no harm in that. I'll I'll give us reason why we are going with dashboard though. <laughs> no, they should give reasons, solid reason they are going with dashboard. This. Okay, we're well, going to reason, reason. Okay, reason. reason is if they fail, we get the mark. If they don't fail, we don't fail. Oh, so okay, we don't fail. So we go with dashboard. No, if they don't give me a good with you, I agree with you. Don't give the solid reason. No, we don't no mark. Lose. Then you have an We can do that using a dashboard. We can create sliders that can actually um, break down that um, break down. The whatever for them. <laughs> no, actually, when we talk about demographic, no, that's a, it's not a. It's we still have to look for the demographics in it. It's a, I, it's a report, and I feel it's a report. But since we have nothing to lose, let's take dashboard. <laughs> because if they are right, we get the score, and then we don't get it. But if they are wrong, no, no, and we are no, right, no, we get no, the score. No, no, no. I, I, yeah, think, no, I, I think that score should be because. Uh, the from what we could say, uh, they wouldn't want to waste their time according to Miss Engel here. Okay. Know, they have so, the have so. of Team Ruby, we choose dashboard. Thank you. <laughs> no final answer. Okay. Yeah. So, um, both team they've imputed their answer, and the correct answer to this scenario is what? Hmm. It's actually a report. <laughs> yeah, we lose nothing. <laughs> okay, I'm like the back of uh, the back. Team. Nobody wants to agree. Okay, great. So it's still 50. We are back on our 50. So let's go to the um, next one. I think this is the last one. So for Team Ruby, I'll be here. Okay, baby has answered for us. Um, the finance team in the organization you work with wants to analyze the company's budgets and expenses. They are interested in seeing detailed breakdowns of expenses by departments, cost centers, and projects so that they can monitor spending patterns, allocate resources, and ensure budget compliance which is best for the scenario report or we have team ruby yes uh oh, the answer i got a spot so i feel it's a dashboard because um now we only, we have our KPIs <laughs> and we also have what the company wants to do, use the KPI to answer, right? Okay, go on. Yeah, we have KPIs and we have what the company wants to use it to answer. Problem they want to solve with it already on ground. So I feel a dashboard we help them answer it faster than a report. Okay. Mercedes, do you... Is that your final answer? No, we are still discussing. Mercedes, we have one you, have, you, have a, you have a different opinion. Um, hold on a bit. Let me just um look at the I just, this thing. Um, uh, okay. So we have our slicers as departments, the 
Hot Centers. I'm convinced with what a man is said. Okay. I, I feel the same way. Sorry, that's I what I mean. Was I it that? I feel the same way. Sorry, you can go on, please. Sir. Joshua, we are, we are waiting for you. Conclude. Don't worry, I'm with you guys. It's the same. Dashboard. Yes. Same diamond. Okay, final answer for Ruby is dashboard. Tim Diamond, do you agree? Do you disagree? Before they say anything, are they sure? Once given an opportunity to come clean. Hmm? Once give them an opportunity to come clean before we give them an answer. <laughs> 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 <Is that Hey. laughs> okay, yeah. so Tim Diamond, what's your final answer? It's dashboard. Dashboard. Is that your final answer, Tim Diamond? Hold on, hold on. That's not our final answer, please. Uh, this thing. I actually think... We should I choose the other one. one. <laughs> hold on. Yes, I'm thinking of reports. Because, you know, this Why? part, they, say they are interested in detailed breakdowns. Mm -hmm. So, this, this detailed breakdown, and we can also shoot them at the leg like they shoot us the other time. <laughs> I'll go for a report too. Well, okay. yeah, there is a, yeah, there is a reason why you're going you. for a report. A good reason. Okay. Yeah. Uh, there, there, I don't see, know. There, there, is, there, is, there is a reason why I would choose that is what is. Uh, you know, the expenses by department are regular occurrences, which means that they change or they are like uh, real time, like they happen in real time. And you can see that with that. But then, I mean, as you said, we will kill two stones or one. We will kill two birds or one stone if you choose your words. I don't but understand. Then, can't be learning bad. It's not copy, copy. Hey, hey. It's copy, not learning bad. So, Tim Dama, what's the final answer for you guys? You don't want your answer. Eh? Who said that? Oh, just another one. News, just we like you did, news. what you said. You said report or oh, dashboard. Yeah. Yeah, I think going with dashboard. I I say report. Just say report. You have nothing to lose now. Okay, let's go for report. <laughs> okay. My heart is in my hand. <laughs> report. Report. Final answer. Yeah. Okay, report. Hmm, this is really tough. But the final or the correct answer is hmm. <laughs> sorry. The, final, the correct answer is report. <laughs> <laughs> so to Ruby, you did get it. You didn't get this. So I think Dama got the mark. But you have it. You have a chance to read that, it, right? Why is it a report? Please, anytime you see details, in fact, there's there was enough pointer for it. It's we're trying to get a detailed breakdown for expenses so that they can know how to monitor their spending pattern. So if a company is spending money, it will show in their budget and expenses data, right? And what's the KPI here? First of all how you spend money so it's just one thing you are focused on how do we spend money and we want to see it by department by cost center by project so we know where we are spending our money more where we are spending our money less so that we can allocate more resources if i spend our money more and um, let's say we are spending our money more on salaries right on okay let's say on um, maintenance of maybe laptops and laptops is always breaking down they're spending more money on it so it, it, they might make a decision it's better to get new ones than to even be repairing so all this is will give them insight but the key take home is you're focused on one thing here which is how the company spends money i don't want to see it in detail so that they can make this decision do we get it right 
Tim Ruby, you guys are not happy. Sorry. But the replay. Oh, the no, what was what's what there? What's there? Let's go on. Maybe I can't, I can't. <laughs> so for Tim Diamond, this is your last question as well. And if you don't get it, you get zero. If Tim Ruby gets it, you get your full mark. Or if you get it, you get your full mark and zone. So for this scenario, we have the IT team in the organization you work with wants to monitor the health of the organization's IT systems. They want to be on top of their monitoring game by gaining insight into server uptime, network latency, security alerts, and application performance in real time so that they can proactively address potential issues and maintain a reliable IT environment. Report to dashboard. One minute. Team members, please, what are you choosing? Hello? Hello? Yep. Hi. Yes, 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 I can hear you. Go ahead. Okay. So, guys, sorry, like, I've been very, very busy at work. What are we choosing? Yeah. What are you guys choosing? You have 30 seconds. I think we should, should go for dashboard because IT, we have a lot of reports. IT. I think, I think it's a dashboard too. Yeah, because IT will want something in real time. So, they want to be seen every time. I'm seeing latency security alerts and application. but this is a very very dicey question because they might it might also be a report because they can actually just request for a report but in dashboard everything happens live then second small yeah 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 all right that read time emphasis on the read time I, I, so, yeah, yeah. Dashboard, right? yes dashboard okay dashboard final answer in ruby disagree or agree Report. Report. <laughs> Reason. We have nothing to lose. So report. Oh my gosh. Guys are making me laugh so hard. Okay. So, uh, <laughs> the final answer is, or the correct answer is dashboard. So Tim Diamond got the answer. So why is it a dashboard? Okay, somebody's hands up. Please go ahead. I don't know whose hand is up. I don't want to leave here. It must be a mistake. Just go ahead. There's no 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 hand up here. Okay. So this is a dashboard because we are looking at different things. We are looking at server uptime. We are looking at network latency. We are looking at security and so all these are their kpis to be sure that the it system is okay so if the network is down it will show on their dashboard and they'll want to like fix it right it will be able to see it in real time um so um back to the emphasis should not be on real time tamola the emphasis should be on what are they tracking am i tracking just one thing or different things they are tracking different things here in this scenario they are tracking server uptime, network latency, security alert, application performance. So all these things together, combined together, can show them or give them insight if the IT system is doing very OK or doing badly. And when one is down, actually the rest is down. So when it comes to network or IT. So they want to make sure, they want to make sure that all of them, your server, your network, everything is working at its optimal um, way or in an optimal way so that um, nobody is experiencing anything that, that can hinder the business or maybe whatever scenario or business context it is, right? Do we get it? <laughs> so the emphasis should not be on the real time. You can also have your report in real time. So it depends on how often you want to see it. Um, interval should not be, or the timing interval should not be something that will tell you if it's a report or a dashboard i can decide to 
update my reports everyone on our i want to be seeing this information everywhere and i can do that i can also decide to um be looking at my dashboard weekly so it's a weekly thing i don't need to comment it every day do you get it uh i don't know if you get it so timing or interval should not be something that should determine if it's a report or a dashboard the first thing is is it giving me a summary or is it giving me in details that's the first thing i'll which other thing again am i focused on one thing or different things different things like kpi am i tracking different things or am i just focused on one thing and i want to see it in details how this kpi is interacting with other dimensions of the business so we've come to the end of our this or that game so for this session let me go to the leaderboard for this session um team diamond has their full mark let me just add it here so instead of 10 let's put 20. okay so team diamond 40 team ruby 20. and you can see the share of the score so 66 percent against 33 percent so team ruby um we still have other chances to to crash team diamond's head so please don't feel um like you've not won yes everybody's still the winner so well done to all the teams Bravo. Hey, please, that's the everybody's not the winner team diamond is the winner let's not be okay. it's Thank okay you. Thank you. Let's, Wait, guys, we just let's go to the next one no there's still other there's still other reasons. Reasons, right? yeah so you still have opportunity to to crash to crush their head so let's go exactly. to elements of a good data story Right, so we've understood what a data story is, different between a report and a dashboard. So what makes a data story or a story a good one? The first thing is, one, the first thing is your data visualization. So you want to be able, or you want to be able to make sure that you choose the right charts. Uh, choosing the wrong chart to, answer your questions might actually be real can hamper or make your dashboard or your report a very good or your data story is very good one so um we need to have a knowledge of choosing the right chart at the right for the right question or for the right scenario right am i not going to details of how um because we've done something like this in previous classes or not previous classes in, in previous materials that was released um where we talked about different charts and where you can use them so we're going to be doing it practically here and um i'm going to look at different charts and um the best way to re different questions sorry and the best way to um visualize it so we are also going to be playing a game for it right and we, i call the game which or who communicated it better or something so just allow me i don't know where i yeah i think it's here so this is it um so this game i'm going to explain the dynamics of this game i will all deliberate as a team and give me a final answer so the game is which visual communicated it better right and you can see on my left hand side like the business questions and on my right hand side four different chats that actually displays the same information right so you're going to tell me which of these chats communicated it better and why um but before you do that first of all so there are three in one things you identify the chats you tell me which communicated it better that's the business question and why it did that so it's three in one and if you don't get all of them correctly your scores will be reduced so i don't know by how many so it depends on how you answer it and um you just have one attempt so anybody that is talking i think i should vote for one person that should come up and say all your discussions and communicate or explain why each of this graph did whatever they want to do with the data right so do we get it 
is it clear? Do you want to ask questions on the rules? Uh, the score, the score thing has to be clarified because like a good explanation and the correct answer, what, how was the distribution? Okay, so um, I'm going to give five marks to, um, I, I don't actually think about mm -hmm. it. No, let's, just... let's give no we're going to give two two marks if you correctly identify the chart mm -hmm. then if you say give correct reason you will get four marks and if you tell um the reason the, the, the three things you mentioned the identify the chart give mm -hmm. correct reason and what's the third one you tell us which graph communicated it's better okay 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 uh, is it not okay, you know, it's identify the chart uh, identify the chart is different. So what okay, chart is this? Is it a line chart, bar chart? That's the first okay, one. Identifying the chart is uh, two marks. Two marks. Mm -hmm. Tell us, tell us uh, which one communicated it better. For and the reason why. It and the reason why. Yes, 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 yes. Which communicated better and the reason why? Eight marks. So if you're able to identify it alone correctly, two marks. If you don't give us the good reason, the reason why and uh, I don't sorry, I didn't get I didn't follow. So if so, they're able to if they're able to identify the the charts, mm -hmm. the one yes, just by identifying two it, marks. they get two, two marks. But they can, if they're able to give good reason why it is the best chart for the uh, presentation of the data, then mm -hmm. they, don't, they don't get the many eight marks. But if they're able to give good reason, then they get the eight marks. Mm, that's a lot to lose. Yes, yes, yes. No, the reason is the main thing. It's not but identifying. It's three things now. Uh huh. What is the, what is the second one? Is it not the reason? What is the, what is the third one then? Which communicated it better? The second one is which graph communicated it better? This question. Uh, it's not the same thing as identifying the chart. Oh, okay. Okay, 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 okay. I understand you now. I understand you now. So that means you want them to say this one, the, the one by the, the top left, this is, this mm -hmm. is the name of this chart. The yes, next one, exactly. this is chart. Oh, exactly. I understand you now. Okay, good. So if you are able to identify those charts, tell the names of the charts. Okay. Then so you get two marks. Yes. Tell the names of these four charts that is displayed on the screen. If they're able to state which one communicates the uh I'll give the answer this better, they get four marks. Then mm -hmm. the reason they get four marks. Okay, that's better. Opa, that's opa, okay. opa. Opa. Yeah. <laughs> that is better that way, yeah. All right, so thank you, Naudi, for helping me out. So, Tim Ruby, um, sorry, you would take the question as it is. Sorry, um, if it's hard, if it's, I don't know, but no question should be hard or uh, no, now should we not switch? I think Tim, you should switch. Now. Thank you, thank you. That's what I want to say. There should be a okay. switch, okay, thank because you. Tim Diamond yeah. answered last, okay, Tim Diamond. So, you are going to, sorry, you are going to start this session. Are you guys ready? We don't know why we are starting first. We want with the losing team to but anyways. Okay, so this is our what's it called? This is the data we worked with from Mary's business. You guys should not forget. I'm not going to explain it, right? Maybe that, um, but let's say we still remember. I'm just assuming we still remember the business context, what we're trying to find out, and some of the business questions we asked, right? So I highlighted some of the business questions that we asked or we were able to draft from our course of the time we took the course. And I plotted different chats that can answer this question. But we need for you to tell your story in a better way or in a good way. You need your graph or your data visualization to be able to communicate what you want to say with this audience and they should be able to answer your business questions so um the four charts here actually has the same type of data right the same um, fields the same pictures but now different charts so you're going to tell us the name of this chart that we used which of these charts communicated this better that's the question. So, and uh, no, no, let me not give you an example. <laughs> Which communicated it better? 
and why it communicated it or why did you choose it for or why did you choose that answer rather so tim diamond who wants to go for tim diamond please you guys have one minute to do everything so decide um somebody should speak one person rather and just give us everything This is me speaking. This guy, guys, see my screen. Okay, I think I've shared my entire screen. I just remember. Damola, Adik, okay. MJ, where are you? Please, my people. I believe in you guys so much. You're already winning. So just keep it up. There is, there is coach motivation that is going on here. We don't have to so. <laughs> do I, I'm trying you guys up so now. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, I'm the, I said, now you go. Yeah, uh, you know. Because I, um, she's the quiz master. Maria is here already now. Maria is here. Ah, Maria. Yeah, they're going on. Maria, do that. Come and share your, come and share your team. Hey, it's only keeping one. Oh, I'm sharing them. I'm sharing them. Damon, we are still waiting. Oh, please. Yes, yes. 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 Hello. Tim Ruby. Yeah. Uh, so what what do you think? I was thinking this first uh, first start. The what? No. The first start. First of all, yeah. identify yeah. the chat. Exactly. Or oh, the name of the chat. Okay. Yes. yes. There's no name. There's no name on the chat. They, they don't no, no. Line. You don't understand. So, um, what is the name of this chat? What type of exactly. chat is this? What type of chat is this? What type of chat? Is this? Let's call this chat one, chat two, chat three, chat four. By that okay. order. Okay. From your left so to right. Chat one. What do you think? Different. I'm chat, chat, chat one, one. first. Sorry, what? sorry. Let, 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 let me state the rule again. Uh, Damola. What you are expected to do is you say chat one, the name is called XYZ. Chat two, and the we have to deliberate on the answer. We've not agreed on the no, answer. No, no, you don't understand. Answer that question first. Yes. First, oh, name okay. is chat. what is tell us the names of these four chats displayed on the screen before you now oh. decide on which one best describe the data set or the answer and the, the business question rather. Okay, you, okay. You get. Yeah, I get. Okay, so go for it, Damola. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, just hold on. Okay. Ah, uh, chat one. Line mm -hmm. graph. Line okay. graph. Chat two. Like then chat two. Bacha. No. Bacha. Okay. Chat three. Okay. Oh no. Chat three, pie chat. Please, please, it's not a bad chat. Please, she's speaking of all of us, right? Yes. Please, it's not, it's not bad chat. It's what? It's not bad chat, at least. So, uh, I think this one is big, big. So, start, start column. Start column. That's it. Like, uh, horizontal. Okay, bad chat is only horizontal, eh? So this is a column chart. Oh, you said start column. Okay. And we 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 will go with different. Then the okay. third the third chart is a pie chart. Mhm. Mm the last one is what? Uh, the last one. I don't, an, I don't have an idea actually. This doesn't look right. familiar. That's fine. So the second question is which please, computer please. is better? Okay, we can we can we can we can say you can put something there, right? Yeah, we can. Instead of just leaving it. Uh, so uh uh Let's test. Uh, wait, please. It is a it's a combo actually. It's a combo. I'm seeing. 
Is your say what increase decrease total? Do you guys oh, okay. okay, so I think you guys don't know the answer. Let's go to the next one. So that'll be safe time. Um this is already so for the next Sorry, wait, why are we not, wait, wait, why are we not getting the bonus? No, 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 no. To answer every okay. Okay, yeah. sorry. Let me calm let me... down now. You're not done. Let, let them finish. Let them answer everything first. I want them to answer everything before I give it to Tim Ruby. Okay. Okay. I thought you wanted to give the answer. That's why I was wondering. No, no, no. They've not answered all of them. So which company which graph communicated this question better? So the question is, what is the overall sales trend? Pharmacy. So, which graph did justice for you and why? Is I speaking? Oh, are you asking me, Odamola? <laughs> no, Odamola. <laughs> All right, Damola, please, you have 30 seconds. Vincent, what are we going for? I think we should use, uh, I mean, we are using uh, the sales trend, right? And you don't yeah, talk about trend, it means that we're talking about time. And yeah. at least from what I learned from that class, I know that line graphs are always best for uh, time series things like. Okay. Yeah, I want to that thing. Clara, Clara likes line chat. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, Sorry, so, I'm confused. <laughs> so what you will go with live chat? Yeah, I say yeah. like like live chat. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, Tim Ruby, do you want to try? Yes. Okay. Please go for it. We are deliberating. Ha. Do second, we are you? No, 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 no time, no time. There's no time. You guys have been deliberating. Mesendo, where are you? Go for it, go yeah, for it, go for it, go for it. Mesendo is not here, go for it. I think okay, she dropped the button. So, go for it. For me, yo, I would say it's this, the fourth no, chance. No, you're speaking for us. Don't worry, don't yeah, be afraid. Yeah, okay. On behalf of us, is top chance. First of all, you name the chat. Which one did better and why? Okay, so for me, is the for Team Ruby is the fourth chart. It's a stock chart. Stock, okay. And it's because it's used to show um, trends over a period of time. Mm -hmm. It's used to show okay. viral trends, so it answers the question. All right. Then what's the name of this chart? What's the name of this chart? So stock. this is what S T O C K chart. No, the other the, the other ones, Mandy. The, the okay, other the other chart. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm supposed. To, okay, so the first one is a. Um, but let me is it a line chart or a scattered. A ah, line chart, line chart, line, line chart. chart. Okay, move on, move on. The second one is a bar chart, and the third one is a pie chart. Okay. Mm. So now we're to all the teams. Um, I'm going to see the correct answer, and we are going to assign this course. So. Um, Tim Diamond did not finish answering that question. They could not identify this chart. So this chart here is a line chart. This chart here is a clustered column chart. Or let's say a column chart. So we can't say if it's clustered for now until we have more variables. So let's just call it a clustered chart. Not clustered, column chart rather. Then this one is a pie chart. This one is a waterfall chart. This is waterfall. Um, which communicated it better? So Tim Diamond got the answer. The line chart communicated it better. Why? Because line chart is best suited for um for what for time series, and not only that, um, bar charts can also be used because um it's more there are less categories right 
So even if this is a time series, but you can also classify it as a categorical data, right? But the line chart did it better here because it was able to show appropriately the troughs and the highs of this data. If you look at these two charts now, we have January as what this value is actually high here. But coming down to February, looking at it from this column chart, you, you might not be able to like see the extent of the decline. It's not so like visible on like how it is here, right? So if I look at this data here on this chart, I'm like, oh boy, February really was low. And if you see, compared, comparing February to March, you can see that March actually came up, right? It lit, but now the increase in the sales in March was not so visible on this column chart than how it is on the line chart ticket. So I would say this is complicated better than all of this. Pie charts is even the worst. In fact, these two charts, yeah, in fact, they're just saying off point because um, I can't say this is a trend. I, I I don't know if it's increasing or decreasing, right? And that's showing trend is how it's, it's if it's increasing or decreasing, how it has been over time. So the exact, um, let me not say exact, the true situation of your data over a period of time. And this is clearly not telling me anything like that. It's just saying everything is increasing. If you look at it, say it increase, increase, increase. And that's not true. You can see January is increased, green. February is also green, it's increased. March is also green, increased. So it's not even giving me a true picture. Why? This is not correct because in February, there was a decrease in sales here. And this is telling me it is an increase. So this is X. For this one, I don't even know. This is not trend. It's, it's, I can't make any sense out of this data here. So X. But line charts, the best for me. Do you get this by line charts? So you should be looking at all these details whenever you're trying to visualize data. I'm trying to say something. Is it telling, telling my audience the same thing I'm saying or I can see from the chat, right? Without them, without even without you being there or not. So if I present this chat, probably in a meeting, or maybe I design a dashboard and it's being used in my organization, um, I'm not going to be there to be explaining to everybody. Oh, the sales actually dropped in February very much. You, you might not be able to like communicate that in person, but your graph can do it. Your graph should be your mouthpiece when you're not there. So just imagine as your imagine your data visualization being your mouthpiece when you're not there. And this did justice for me than this, in fact, than all of them. But this is better compared to this two. But this still was the best. Um, let's look at November. You can see from October to November, like the decline was really epic, but it's not really obvious in this bar chart. So I might not want to use that. Do you get it? Do we get it? So Tim Diamond. Mm, so what would be your score now? Now did you calculate it for us? Uh, please, please, we answered the questions. We answered everything at least. You answered, yeah, you answered. Actually, you got nine. Let's let's give them nine. Yeah, they got nine. Yeah. Because they filled uh, instead of out of instead of giving them two for the correctly named this in the oh nine point five nine point five no nine nine nine. Because they were point five. They were supposed to get zero for that one. Is if they answer the four correctly, they name the four correctly, they get two marks. They were supposed to even get zero because they filled one. But let's oh, see. Um, I, I said what for the time. You is said what? <laughs> I said what for the time. Did you say what no, Did you say what for? Yes, I said what I think he. Now. I think he did. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think he did. He said what for. That is true. I said I what for. Well, I, I wasn't sure if, if it was the step one or something. I said, ah, is it what for? Oh, I didn't get that. I thought you said start. Right, no, 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 I no, no. I think. I think I heard it. And everything was the correct. Everything was correct. Yes, so, yes. Good. Give me a very good reason. So, got Tim Diamond. Tim Diamond has fifty marks now. Yeah. Tim Ruby, your question next. <laughs> so, which communicated which better? Sorry, the chat is still loading. My network is crashing. Okay, great. 
so it's up now so you know the rules and you go for it so who is representing Tim Ruby? So I'm waiting. You have one minute. <laughs> Ruby, are we there? Ruby, oh, Ruby, where are you? Tim Ruby, are you guys here? I'm here. We are here. We are looking. Okay. You guys have one minute. Remember, time is counting. Tim Diamond, please also look at it though, so that when you're called upon, you just give me my answer straight and we'll move on. So, Tim Ruby, thank Hello, you. this is for us, man. <laughs> okay. Hello. Yes, please. Go ahead. <clears throat> um. Wait to. This first one that looks like mountain. I've not seen this type. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Is the data that is giving you that? <laughs> so, uh, which chat is this? With two. But it's true, I've not seen that chat before. <laughs> so, that means you guys do not look at the materials we did on data visualization. <laughs> That exactly explains it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Ruby, why, what, where are we? We're there here, yeah. but this part, I never see yeah, 10 seconds. Okay. <laughs> See, yeah, my own now is that that about that first chat looks like keto, but I don't even know the name of the chat. <laughs> like keto. Okay, like it. It, it looks like it's telling the whole story. Tim Ruby, it seems you're chat. not decisive. Should we give it to Tim Diamond? No, wait. Wait first. Oh no, no, wait for them. <laughs> <laughs> It's like when me has gone off the course. I'm not sure if it's clear. Messen though, I'm not hearing a voice again, so you what a fool. Hmm, Tim Ruby. Barry, I tell your team now so that they can get motivation. I'm really the one. <laughs> Mandy, Joshua, how far I like to show for my hand. If you don't know one, just keep and go it to the one. To the 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 one. The uh, what's the second thing we so, should pass? Uh... Let me identify the ones I can identify. Mm -hmm. So the fourth chart is a tree map. Okay. The third one is a uh, table metrics. Okay. Second one is a histogram. Okay. And this first first one now is what I'm not sure. Is it a waterfall? Should I 
Joshua, what do you this this should this this, this, this not a waterfall? Uh well it looks like a ketosis if we <laughs> ketosis, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Okay, so if you are not decisive, um okay, area chats. To do that. Area chats. Okay. Please, I don't okay, that's fine. That's so added. Fine. Area chats, what's this one? Histogram, table, and trim apart. Yes. yes. And what time of the day has the highest sales for Mary's pharmacy? So which graph communicated is better? Um the time of the day that come um okay i want to change you the second chart is a column chart this one yes the second one okay all right um i think Calling chat is my, going to be my answer. Why? Because the function of a column chat is actually to um time of the day has the highest sales. So it can across across a period of time. Or no, as we're not comparing here. What time of the day? It's 11. The time of the day, I think, should be 11 a.m. in the morning. That has the highest sell. Mm -hmm. What was the reason for that first answer? <laughs> yeah, my um, country's low. OK, Colin, it? it's the reason for my answer is uh, this reason is not entering my head. You've exceeded the one minute to Tim Dam a movie, but just come conclude. Let's go to Tim Dam. God is showing the yeah, ready. Go ahead. Showing what time? Oh, I don't know the reason. We don't know the reason, but, but I you just see. it's called them chat. Yes, yes. okay, good. Tim <laughs> Diamond, uh, Joshua, you want to say something? No, oh, she's right. I think this this uh, column show then the time that has the highest uh, is uh, eleven a.m. No, I'm not saying you should say the exact time. Okay. This is the question we want to answer. What time of the day has the highest sale for day? Yes. So is uh -huh. it which graph is communicating this information? Okay, the graph for us. Right, Roughly, right. do you get? Yes, let's answer it. Yes. Well, okay. Well, why why is the column chart, Joshua? Um. It's me that chose it too, but I don't know why I chose it. <laughs> because it gives you when it, the column chart gives you at at a glance, it gives you the how do I even say you? It, it can easily see the information. Even looking at what you have, you can see that uh, this has the highest the highest bar here. So that communicates it better. Okay. Um, Diamond, please thirty seconds. Uh, hello. Yes, right here. One is area chart. Mm -hmm. The second one is column chart. The third mm -hmm. one is a table. Mm -hmm. And the last one is a is a trimmer. Okay. So which computer is that? Column chart also. Why? Because we are trying to find uh, the time of day, and from the options we have, all the mm -hmm. line charts would have been better mm -hmm. if we had like the names and everything. This, but like nail down on a specific time. With the mm -hmm. column chart, you can easily tell the specific, you know, time of day based on the data we have where we had the highest sale, okay. right? And in this case, I think it is, I can't, I can't see properly, but then, yeah, that one okay. over there. So I'll, I'll go with the, or we'll go with the, the chart. Chart. 
All right, great. So team Ruby, um, you actually identified all the charts correctly. This is an area chart. This is a column chart. This is a table and this is a tree map. You actually got the second one which says this, um, the column chart communicated it better, right? But your reason, your reason was not, uh, let me, uh, I'll give you the reasons the I'll two give you half for it. actually the same thing. So he said there was no reason. No. They didn't give reason no. No, we did. Joshua did. They no, they didn't. The, the reason was not cogent enough. It wasn't yeah, that's enough. what I'm saying. Now they did not the reason was and I'm not... also saying now that <laughs> Diamond also did not give a cogent reason because oh, it was they, they did. so nobody's getting any mark there if we're not no, getting full mark. Diamond actually did. They did. They gave a good reason. No, very, just very said very that cool. the column chart is showing is showing it more clearly that you can easily see that um, the highest here, which is exactly the same thing that Tim Diamond just said. I, I yep, I listened very well. I didn't say exactly that. That's not what I said. I heard, I heard you said it in your, you said it in your English. Joshua said it in his okay, English. Okay, wait, 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 Amanda, calm down. <laughs> but um. What is it called? Vincent said something that Joshua did not say. He said line chat or this area chat would have been the best, but we are not going for it because column chat is able to distinguish the hours, right? Why um why the area chat is not doing that? Fine, it's very obvious that this is giving us the what is it called the correct um it's giving it's distinctly showing us which of them if you look at it at a glance but um that's not in uh, i think vincent answered answered better because he actually gave us why he's not choosing this area chat and why he's going for this um really area chat would have been better for this type of information or maybe a line chat or an area chat but if you want to get like that specific time area chat is not doing this is just showing us more of a trend kind of data. It's just, oh, this is a trend. Although this shows us the trend, but it's giving us a little bit extra details so, and giving us a little bit extra thing here by dividing this segment or this dimension and putting them into bars so that we are seeing it individually and seeing how it translates to. Um, and seeing how it gives us that trend are still showing us like okay this is the highest compared to the others i don't know if that makes sense if i don't agree then all right <laughs> so now the please be the church uh, maybe let's not look like i was supporting team diamond no you're not supporting team diamond i heard everything now so okay. I, I think diamond you get two two marks while uh team ruby gets eight marks okay so, to Ruby, it marks Tim Diamond too, right? Oh, sorry, Tim Diamond too, right? Tim Diamond too, Ruby eight. Okay. So, Tim Diamond, this is your question. Um, and I think this should be the last one for this segment. So, which communicated the better? Um, tell us. This is confusing. This is going to be tricky. Well, which communicated it better? So we have um, the chat, the question. So you tell us everything. You have one minute. Name the chat first now before they say we communicated it better. Tim Dan, are you guys still here? Yes, we have the queue. Okay, you guys have one minute. We are here. I can't see from this. The other one. Is it the Which one? Two? You can't see. Should I zoom it in? Yes. Sorry? Let me, let me zoom in on my end. Okay.
Yeah, please do speak. It's true. Somebody else should talk. Vincent has been the one speaking for 10 time. Um Please see what's in your, is in your mind. We are just learning. Exactly. So it's just to test and to make us see why we should do some type of crafts. Yes, yes. Is who is speaking Namola? Or I think okay. No, I think Vincent I was on. Sorry? Uh, Vincent is not anything, no. He has already said you guys should talk. <laughs> and we're yeah, ah. just learning. But Vincent, you can okay. still go for it to so save your time. Adamola, please go ahead. So I think the first chart is a line chart. Mm -hmm. The second chart is a uh, the stack column chart. Vincent, I say, get me. <laughs> the, the third chart yes. is also the same thing. It's like more. It's like a stack column chart. Mm -hmm. Then the the fourth one is a matrix. Is a matrix this one? Right. Yes. Yes. Matches. The first one. Yes. Okay. Then which communicated it better? So read the question and look at the chat and see which communicated it better. Okay. Well, listen. Are my options correct? My answers are they correct? No, and exactly. But we are learning. Okay. <laughs> 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 How many seasons? One over the years. Over the years, I I think I will go for line charts this time around. Because over the years, like it's it talking about time series too. So okay. Um, Same Ruby. That that's what uh, I. Okay, no problem. That's fine. You've all said in all you know. So um I'm showing up I'm giving um I'm making it open for Tim Ruby to answer so that we can look at it and okay, so the first chart is a line chart as mm -hmm. she said. The second chart is uh should be a column chart mm -hmm. third one is a clustered column okay the fourth one is a match is a matrix then um i'll change the clustered column chart because wait you said clustered column right okay the third so one Okay. Because, because it shows us how the business have grown over the years. How did you do that? Areas, both positive and negative way. Uh, it represents it clearly. Like if you just see it, you will know that okay, there was a negative growth this year, there was a positive growth this year, or this month okay. rather. Okay. All right. So. Um, both teams did very well. Team Diamond. Uh, please, I have a question. All right. Is there anything like inverted? Is there anything like what? Inverted column chart. Inverted? Yes. I uh, have not heard. Although you can invert your, what's it called? Like the. I'm, I'm, this I've series, heard right? that before, but I just is it so you are saying this 
an inverted column chart. Yeah, because it's like it's you know it's like showing up and down. And this is showing up and down too. Mm. Oh, really? Alright, <laughs> <laughs> that's fine. So, um, I'm going to name the chart. So this is a line chart, obviously. This is a waterfall chart. Mm -hmm. mm. This is a column chart. And this is a multi row chart. chart. Multi row chart. So, completed it better. Um, so it depends on what you want to see, right? So um, I'm going to say this did not clearly show me. Uh, it did not really show me that information. Although there are, there are chunks and high. But you have to look at it very well to see, oh, there's a negative um, value. If I don't look at it, I might not know. Right? Then for this, this did not. It just showed me what it is. Like it had, right? But it's not telling me. It's fine. It's, it's saying yeah, it is doing oh, okay, so I might yeah, not be able to right? get that information <laughs> at a glance. Yeah, that's so it's so it's okay. Okay. Sorry, um, damn life. I don't know if you can mute. But for our waterfall and column, these two actually did justice to it. For example, let me start with the column chart. You can see it, the sales in January is very green and very tall, right? Compared to the previous time. So this is good. Um compared to what was done in the previous January. So I don't know, it depends on what you the context you're looking at. But um for February compared to January, you can see there's a very, very low dip. Then the business picked up in March again. It came up a little. Although not compared to what was done in January, but right, let's say let's not say compared to but compared to what was done in February, it came up. So we can see that, or we can see the times when the business did well from the green, and the times where the business did badly from the red. So um the Ruby actually bought that one. I think they were able to identify why this or oh, their choice communicated it better then for this waterfall you can also see it's showing us green and red right um it's showing us if and if you can see there's a label here uh increase decrease total um this also is doing a good job because first of all we have like labels and i'm looking at it oh for this one i might not know what's a what's it called i might not know what's green means and red uh, although fine it's it's um it's kind of like an established thing <laughs> that red means growth i'm sorry green means growth bad red means bad but this is doing is going extra to give me <laughs> that information so i'm saying oh i don't i'm seeing here for my graph that green means increase so i'm saying yeah in january the sales grew but in february it's dropped by how many percent 18 percent and in march it's grew in april it dropped in may it still dropped so you can see the drop 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 then it picked up picking so it's showing us that um trend and at the end of the day it's now saying so this is the final value we have as the overall growth so for me all i don't know i think this did better my waterfall chart but column charts this can still go that's because of the way it's colored but probably if i added more context like oh green means roots like what this means what did what this graph did here green means increase red means decrease then this um this should have, should have been equal to this but i would go more for this than this so we get it I don't know if that's clear. <laughs> what graph did good, right? But you can see now this there's there's context here. I, I know I'm not stressing myself to think about what green and red means. I've already given me this. 
and it's still giving me extra information than what it is not giving me. So, um, waterfall is the best for me, but column charts can still go, right? So, uh, now the what I was calling both teams. Obviously, the diamond did not get all this correctly, and the ruby. So, the diamond. Uh, I don't know if you're here. Please help me calculate this. Yes, I'm I'm here, but I did not see I wasn't there. I wasn't here when they were actually naming this chart. So okay. I may not be able to well, yeah. Tim Diamond did not get everything correctly. They got mm -hmm. one, two. They did okay. not get this two. Okay. Tim Ruby also got one and two. Oh. Nobody got this, yeah, just two. Then for the reason um team of which communicated the better team diamond did not get it they chose line charts but team oh. ruby chose this chart uh, this can oh. go and, okay and they gave a good reason why it should be oh. this chart. Oh. okay so and the question is meant for team team uh, diamond. team diamond right mm -hmm. ah one more it's one <laughs> <Exactly. to> <laughs> <laughs> <one Magdalene>. <laughs> <laughs> it's not bad here we get to. The only one with too much for reason. Because <laughs> yes, reason. waterfall is yeah, not the waterfall reason. actually come okay, from right? to a hole. Mm-hmm. That's okay, the reason. 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 That's how it's total. Yeah. So they got the reason and they got why which communicated it better actually. Okay, okay, okay. They got the reason which communicated. Okay, uh, that means they that means they will get four marks. Four plus four plus one. That is nine. Okay. Then same diamond is one. One, yes. Okay. <laughs> okay. So team diamond one. Ruby nine. Amanda. <laughs> you guys are coming up. Thank you very um, much for that very yes, good mark. So, <laughs> team Ruby, this is your question now. And this will be the last question for this segment. Oh my. So you know the rules. Okay. I don't know why we were, we were getting difficult ones. These ones are just important. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so, which communicator did hey, better? Look at it calling this I... last one. Just what is the name of this last chat? Oh, remind me, remind me. Oh, maybe I'll call it table. Okay, let me let me let me start. The first one is a line chat. Mm -hmm. The second one is the table matrix. Okay. Hello? Are you hearing me? Second one is a bar chart. Yes, I heard you. Okay. Bar mm -hmm. chart. Abi, this Joshua, way? bar chart, Abi, second one. It's very the third one is the donut chart. Because mm -hmm. I like donuts. The fourth one is a table matrix. Yes. Wait, sorry. Why are you guys calling it table matrix? Sorry. I, I was going to <laughs> So a table is different, a matrix is different. I combined it together because they actually do almost the same thing. But matrix has more functionality than okay, table then. Table. Yeah. Yes. So this is more it's more like a table. Um, so the second question, which communicator did better? Okay, so let me let me look, let me look. Who read the question and look at the chat. What drug category has the highest sales? Okay, okay, so um. Hello, man. Okay, so the bar chart can go, and even this donut chart too. Okay. But let's use the bar chart because the bar chart is um, it shows it more distinctively, so we can clearly just see the highest and the lowest clearly. But if you look at the donut chart, it's kind of it's going to be looking too complex unless you look at it very properly. Then you are the file distance, but with the bar chart, you can easily um, pick the highest and every other different ones. 
So I'm going with the second one, the back chat. That's right. Okay, Tim Diamond, do you want to say anything? So have you answered the drug that has the highest uh, sale? Have you no, 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 you don't need to answer the question. You just want to okay, know okay. which graph right. communicated it better. Right. Tim Diamond, this one is simple. That's what you said. <laughs> Tim Diamond, Dio, are we still here? Yeah, I've gone out. Just conclude. <laughs> Hi, Tim Diamond. We are not here now. Okay. We are here. We are thinking about now. This is guys have so the Yes, the first chart is the is a line chart. The second chart is a bar chart. Mm -hmm. uh, then the third chart is yes. a donut chart. Mm -hmm. Then the uh the fourth chart is a table is a is a okay. table. Okay. Table chart. Which yeah, can so be better? Hmm? So for the donut chart. Oh don't know. I think the bar chart communicated it better. Why? Yeah. Because we can uh uh the bar chart actually displays the category and uh, and the quantity sold uh boldly and uh, clearly yes. mm -hmm. so, uh, the purpose of visualization is to capture our audience so from mm -hmm. uh, so the audience don't need to stress themselves before they know uh they know that no5b as the highest quantity, uh, as the highest saves. So that's okay. what I think. All right. Well done, support teams. Um, well, I don't, I don't, I think, well, I would have chosen donor chat, not okay. our chat. Why? Because when you are showing um, clear distinctions or categories, right? Mm -hmm. You obviously want to use one that uh, one that stands out, mm -hmm. and the other thing is that we are also trying to find out you know, the various sales, like category from like the whole pool. We are trying to break them into different factions. So we have this mm -hmm. uh, this drug having these sales, so that from the same pool. So when we are trying to you know demarcate each um drug sales a specific this one i think the best the best chart would be the donor chart not the bar graph okay hmm. thank you for your input vincent um so for this round uh same ruby will actually get your full mark they did very well. <laughs> yeah so i agree with you they are getting your full mark donor chart does that but compared to bar charts hmm? Do, do not uh, like Amanda said. Do not just you have to stress yourself to see the other categories, right? Um, do not chat is maybe best suited when there are lesser categories, and um, you might want to use it. So if there are lesser categories, two of them might be contesting. But now, I even added a an amount here. What's it called? Um, the sales amount in my data label but i did not even do this for my batches and clearly this is speaking loudly than this one if i even look at okay let's look at um no2be and rot look at their slices they are almost the same thing right so i might not know which one is bigger and which one is smaller although we give when we are reading your chat you're reading it like this from right um yeah from right so that's clockwise for donut chat, that's how to read it. But if there is no label, maybe I just put only the categories like I did here. You might not know which is which, like how plenty or how far, how much distance we have from NO2PE and RO3. But we can see it clearly with this bar chart. We can see, oh, NO5 is the highest. I know is contesting with it. But if you look at the other ones, NO2PE, no RO3, we can see, oh, these are really competition, okay. And you can see how far they are from each other. It's not, it's so close. 
like there's no but this is this might not be then giving us that correct information even down to look this category so bad child communicated it better because we can clearly see how we can clearly see the highest first of all that's the question and we can also clearly see how other job categories come into play like what's their performance across um comparing it to other job categories right we can even see the lowest right now the lowest here is no5c um no yeah no5c for it's all this is not clearly doing it for me compared to this so this is simple and it's loud the communication is very loud like i don't even need to stress to so even get the insight from here do you get it so tim ruby has um 10 marks yay tim ruby you're not clear for yourself <laughs> how come wait though what's going on it's supposed to be <laughs> um okay i'm supposed to um, this is not the seventh question. Where am I supposed to add it? <laughs> I think it's here. Because they answered the bonus and their question correctly. So this should be here. And I'm please take this out. Right, Namdi? Yeah, make it there, yeah. Okay. Hmm. The Ruby is coming up in diamond. Please, you okay. said that was the last question. That's why we allow them to win. <laughs> <laughs> he said you so collect here now. You no. <laughs> so to do. Just like just to encourage them, right? So that they don't feel discouraged. Yes. Exactly. Well done, well done. Well done. Well done. That is sad, really like... nice of you guys. Yes. You are too kind. He said you collect two strokes. <laughs> okay, so please, I hope we are clear on how this works now it's not magic you just have to see it you just have to imagine it and know what you want to do if you know what you want we've done all this defining business questions all of this in previous class they are all part of the process but for you to communicate all of that with your visuals you have to understand how this works i hope i've been able to achieve that for everyone um i didn't get any response yes uh, okay yes, sorry okay so the second one is insights you have to give insights so i said something earlier it's not enough to just give me information you have to tell me something so i would i would say my insight or i would say insight is like the aha mo moment in your story so i'm talking and i just hit something i'm like oh yes so from your insights or yeah from your insight or let me just put like insight should form the bedrock for making decisions. So it's from that aha moment in your story that your stakeholders or you as a data analyst can give recommendation. Okay, because of this, 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 we are going to do this, this, this. Um, so we're going to look at some examples, right? Uh, I'm not this, this might not be a game. I don't know how I didn't know how to make it a game, but let's look at insight. I have three case scenarios right oh we might do it as insight i don't know well it's clear so um let me not make this again there are other games don't worry let's just save time so we have two graphs or two charts they are both saying the same thing so this is a card in case you don't know Sorry. right but now let's say uh, for example i'm making a demonstration i say we made 4.3 million in sales. You've communicated, right? This is what our data is saying. But am I getting any aha moment from it? No. In my mind, if I'm your manager or something, in my mind, I'm like, so how would this information help me? You get. I don't even know if this 4 million is high or is low. It's not telling us if we are doing better in sales or we are doing bad. It's just telling me this is what the number is. Well, we should always try to communicate insights, not just giving us information. So this second graph here is telling us we have 4.35 million in sales, but compared to what we did last year, we have a 25% increase. So did you get any aha 
<laughs> yeah, yeah. Then, uh -huh. because now it's giving us oh yes we did better than what, what we did last year it's a very good plus for our business so the next thing we'll be saying is how can we get better how can we do better than this 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 so more data can support this information right depending on your audience well this is more of an aha than just say we have this number of sales do you get it so i'm going to the next one we have sales trend so we have monthly sales data right for all the years but now i'm if you look at this there's a thin line here called target i don't know if you can see it clearly but the graph on the left and the graph on the they're actually the same thing but there's just one difference this one has a target line this one does not so <laughs> if i'm to interpret this graph or to read it i'll say oh this is the sales monthly sales this is what it looks like but now um we just have how many months sorry i don't know why it's high i don't want that interactive whatever so compared to our target for the year so let's say for example the target for the year is 362 um, what's it called? 362 000. this is in dollars yeah yeah so i'm saying that um for all the months january we did above our target that means we did very well in january in february although there was a decline in sales right from what we did in january but we still did above our target it might not be so bad do you get compared to you saying oh in january we did well in february there was a decline we know there's a decline right but now there's another context here that is saying although there's a decline but we did what below our we did above our budget so for january february march april may we're doing above our budget but also as the month progresses the sales is declining um the sales is declining compared to um january like we did not do as much as we did in january and we all we all met that we did our target no matter how late it was but in march the difference between our targets and the actual sale was not so much so you're giving your director your ceo or whoever is your audience a little bit more context and they might be able to make decisions from here than just saying oh it, it just declined in february and um it's not actually telling us if the, the business is well or not even if there's a decline do we get it so this extra line here is the insight for you so it tells it tells us if the business is actually actually doing well. so um based on this, based on the amount targeted for sales this is what we need when we above our target or not sometimes people might say oh we did above target we can do it's still we, it can still pass right they're just looking for that a particular number but for most where they did below targets, they will have to now go back and do like some investigation. What really happened here? Why did we do below target? And how far below target did we do? Do you get it? Compared to, oh, in March, it's declined, in April, it declined, in May, it declined. Do you get it? I don't know that. <laughs> do we have any question? Should I go to the next one? Um. Okay. No question. So the last scenario is this. So this graph is telling us the um, total sales by weekday, right? So it's saying for every day of the week, this is we did in sales. This graph on my left gives me that information, but if I come and say, oh, in on Monday we did six hundred thousand, six hundred thirty-seven thousand. On Tuesday, it was a bit higher. On Wednesday, on Thursday, it's, we did this amount. 
like it's communicating something but um the insights might not be solid i might not be able to make strong decisions from this by just saying this but if you got the graph by, by my left i'm comparing my total sales by my total quantity so you can see the trend as well um in on monday sorry we did this but we did this amount of quantity sold so the sales increase in february why am i saying february in on tuesday but the quantity sold declined so what's going on do you get it to make your manager whatever or whoever is the audience actually ask more questions so you can see also in um on this chart i think friday was the highest but now compared to um the quantity sold in on friday to saturday saturday did really well so what's going on why did we have so much sales in on saturday and the sales we did in it so this was like half of what we did on saturday that we did on friday i don't know if you can you can see it from my graph it's probably half of it so this was this is nineteen thousand. this is um sorry what's it called? 19 okay so we did like 1000 more extra right sorry i want this to show we did like 1000 more extra and um but we actually had a slightly higher sales so what is causing it was it that more people were buying more expensive drugs on Saturday? So it will, it will make you to like drill down and ask more questions so that you can make decisions based on it. But this is, um, compared to this, I would say this actually gave us a aha, aha moment. Um, so that is for the insights. Do we get it? Are we clear? Um, so we actually, um, this class is dragged. It is almost seven o'clock. Um, this is the last thing I will do. I don't know if I'll be able to design the dashboard, but let's just finish this part of the presentation. Then the narratives will be communicating findings. So how do we communicate findings? So like I said earlier, there are different ways to communicate. You can use an info infographics or a, what's it called? We can use an infographics or we can use a dashboard or a report and we've seen the difference right um let me just rush through it so whenever you're trying to whatever you've decided on is it dashboard or report i'm going for there are some questions you need to ask yourself first before you even start anything when you've decided on if it's a dashboard you're building or a or what's it called or a report the first thing you need to know is to know your audience who are my end users right is it an employee or a team or the entire company how would they interact with the dashboard so this is this question to give you insight on who we use it and give you insight on how to design it then once you know your audience oh let's say i've, I've managed i've managed to answer my CEO wants to be using this what information does he want to be seen on the dashboard so what question do you want to what question needs to be answered by the dashboard so you get all this information what decision do they want to make with the dashboard what action will be taken so all of this information now will determine what insights you put on the dashboard it should also determine your choice of visualization in fact everything right so you don't want to put something that your user will end up not using our uh, information that might not be relevant to them so that's the next thing and after you've collected the, this information or you're sure of this information, you move to the next, then you can start designing. So um, I will give tips. This is, it's, it depends on you, but um, some people have the creative ability. They don't need to use layout or everything. They just, they are creative by default. Or well, for those of us that are not creative, you can look up designs, dashboard, choose a color scheme, use a customized theme for your dashboard. You just have to look this up, make sure they're ready. And most times this is informed by maybe the organization color. So if my organization color is blue, you might want to use stick with blue. If my organization color is red, you might want to stick with red. So all those kind of things. Then 
if you like, you create a sketch of your final dashboard. But when you're creating that mock-up, you always have it in mind that your dashboard should be read logically from the right to the from the left to the right, just like you're reading your book or anything readable from left to right. So you structure your story in that manner from left to right and make sure it's logical and um, your audience can connect the dots. Then the final one is to replicate your design from the mock-up. So um, that's it, right? Then um, sometimes you have to, it's, it might not be this linear, like we explained it in class. You can go back to the previous steps, previous steps, back and forth. But the most important thing is making sure that you are able to communicate this insight and your audience needs this information. So you have to factor in your audience and make sure that whatever you're putting on your dashboard should be what they need and what they need to also make decisions, right? Then after that, incorporates best practices. So some of it are do not clutter your chat, be consistent with labeling. So if I'm using sales, it should be sales all through. If I'm using total sales, it should be total sales also. So don't change so that um, your user is not confused. Um, always use the appropriate chat header. Make sure your chat header is correctly described so that um, information is presenting is properly communicated. Uh, create emphasis with color. We did something like this. So green for growth, red for bad. So it depends on the emphasis you want to create, but make sure you use color to achieve that. If you want a chart to stand out or maybe a data point to stand out, you use color for it. Then always remember to keep it simple. The lesser the information, the more insightful your dashboard. You don't have to put everything. You just make sure that you are communicating and you make sure that whatever is on the dashboard is needed by your user. So I'm going to end this class here. Do we have any question? Um, unfortunately, we cannot cover what's it called the dashboard design. But I hope I'm, I was able to communicate um, perfectly. Yes, this this last part actually makes more sense because it's if I know what I know now.